Once dominated mostly by Canadians, hockey has taken huge leaps in growth in the United States in terms of TV ratings and player registrations over the last decade. In this video, we'll give you a primer on the sport and fill you in on exactly what is going on down there on the ice. So let's talk about the setup. Each team has six players on the ice, three forwards, a left winger, a right winger, and a center, two defensemen, and a goaltender or goalie. The object of the game is to shoot the puck using your stick into the opponent's net. Like how basketball has quarters and soccer has halves, Hockey has periods. There's three of them, each lasting 20 minutes. Now when you watch hockey on TV, there are a lot more than just those 12 people on and around the ice. While each team can only have, at maximum, six players on the ice at a time, they actually dress 20 people that play in rotating shifts. 12 forwards, six defensemen, and two goaltenders. And finally, there are four officials on the ice policing the game, two referees, and two linesmen. Now that we know who's on the ice, let's talk about the ice itself. In North America, a standard ice hockey rink is 200 feet long by 85 feet wide. How does that compare to other sports? Well, as you might have seen, you can fit a hockey rink quite easily into a baseball stadium. You could also fit around three rinks into either a football or soccer field. But it's not the smallest surface in major sports. You could fit almost four basketball courts onto one hockey rink. Now let's start putting the lines on the ice. First, right in the middle is the center line. Next, there are two blue lines that divide the rink into three zones, the neutral zone and two end zones. And finally, a goal line at each end. Now let's add the face-off dots. There's nine face-off spots on the ice. One at center, two in each end zone, and four in the neutral zone. And the last thing is the goalie's crease. This is basically the goalie's home. At the beginning of the first period, teams line up for a face-off at center, the referee drops the puck, and the game begins. Well, that's about enough to start enjoying the great game of hockey for now. Hey, you might still have some questions like, what do all those lines mean, or what do the refs do? Stay tuned, find out in our next video. Click here to subscribe or here to check out a game we're working on.